Hey, family of the Prove Guy, and we're still focusing on heroes for this month. This video comes from Ben Cardall. So over the last few months when I've been doing these videos, I've asked a few people to help me out and send me videos on their take on heroes and comfort zone and self-worth, confidence, things like that. So if you've been following the journey, you'll have seen Ben a couple times. And he seems to get quite good reactions from what he talks about, mostly because he knows exactly what he's talking about. So Ben is someone I've known for a few years, and he puts in a lot of work to achieve what he wants to achieve. So listen up, and if you enjoy the video, please share it with anyone else you think would get something from it. So, heroes, why do we, why do we respect them? Why do we elevate them? What is it that makes them so special? To me, you can typify it in uh, Captain America's refusal to give up before the drugs, you know, with the whole, I can do this all day. Or in The Matrix with uh, Mr. Anderson's uh, persistent uh, arguing with Neo. Why, Mr. Anderson, why, why, why do you persist? Because I choose to. It's in the choices that elevate these heroes up to a higher level than what we consider the average person. And it's something that's uh, achievable in anybody. It's your choices. I choose to believe that I have no limitations. I choose to believe that. I might have them, I might not. But it's only in choosing to believe that they don't exist, that they don't. Why would I give myself any sort of a limiting belief? because it's only going to hold me back from the things that I want to do, no matter what that is. So why do I choose to give myself a struggling time when I can choose to give myself a better time? I can choose to believe that these things are possible. When I first sat down to memorize the order of like a few decks of playing cards, it might be the initial thought of that that makes people think that it's going to be impossible. Or, you know, even the people who've studied this, to do six decks, wow, you're put off by the number. When you're in the gym, I'll never, I'll never lift that much or I'll never do this because you've chosen to tell yourself a story. Choose to tell yourself a better one. Choose to tell yourself a more empowering one and you'll find that the heroism within you is only a few words away. And much like all of these beliefs, it has a knock-on effect throughout everything that you do you choose to believe that nothing can hold you back and nothing can hold you down then nothing will and it's a feeling that spreads throughout your entire consciousness throughout your entire psychology it's a it's a it's a feeling that isn't just kept with you in the gym it, it, it's it's a feeling that becomes a part of you and you take into your work life you take into your home life that positive outlook that that willingness to go on in the face of adversity that's why these people are heroes, because they make choices to be. And I'm talking specifically about the superhumans, not the superheroes that have these special powers. People like uh, 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 Batman, for example, he's a superhuman. Hence why I'm doing this. Choose to make yourself better. Don't choose to make excuses.